Hello guys, and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do this cylindrical text in Blender. The really cool thing about this is you can also come in at any point and edit it to anything you want. Um, that's the really cool part. So if you wanna learn how to do this, I'll even show you how to do the animation. Uh, let's go ahead and make it. I hope you guys enjoy. So with a new and fresh scene open up in Blender, we're gonna select all of the default objects and press delete. Uh, let's now go shift A and we're gonna go down to our text option and just add in a text. And what we're gonna do, we have this text active, we're gonna go RX90, so RX90, rotate it like so. And let's just um, tab into edit mode and in edit mode you can backspace and then you can type something. So I'm just gonna go capital B, L, E, N, and D. Honestly, you could write whatever you want. I'm just doing this as an example. And then back in object mode, I'm just gonna go G and X and just move it over so it's kind of in the middle, like so. Okay, so now we have that done. Let's go over to our um, object data properties for the text. Let's go down to geometry. Let's extrude this, give it a little bit of thickness, like so. Maybe, um, yeah, something like that looks good. And then we're gonna go down to the bevel and let's give it a little bit of depth. Something like that, okay? And then let's just also go up to the very top and give it some resolution. I'm gonna go 40, like so. So let's um, now go Shift A. Let's add in a curve. We're gonna add in a Bezier circle. I'm gonna tab into edit mode. I'm gonna go RY90, so RY90. Let's tab back out. And now we're gonna grab this um, text. I'm gonna go over to our modifiers and for now let's give it a remesh because it needs to um, have be able to deform because the way it exists now with this sort of topology it just won't bend properly so we're going to go ahead give it a remesh we're going to make it 0 0.01 like so and we're going to enable shades move as well and now that we have that done let's go ahead and give it a curve modifier let's click on the eyedropper and let's select our bezier curve and now we've got this and in and of itself this already kind of looks cool but what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it at the form and the X axis. And uh, let's actually grab our Bezier curve and let's just go back into edit mode and let's just go RZ90, like so. And then tab back into object mode and go RZ90, like that. And let's go to the deform axis and let's make it Z or negative Z, I think. Yeah, negative Z will work there. So now that we have that done in our front orthographic view, uh, let's go ahead and also just give it an array modifier. We wanna drag the array above the curve and we wanna make it, I uh, think on the Z, let's make that one on the Z and let's make it a zero for the X. Or let's maybe make it one on the Y, there we go. And then make it zero on the Z like that. Okay, and maybe let's just increase the Y value just a little bit. And let's give this a count of four. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our circle here. We're gonna tab into edit mode and just go select everything and go S and just scale it down till these guys kind of wrap around. Perfect. And then we're gonna tab back out. But the text is currently the wrong way around. So let's just go S, X, minus one and hit enter. And then we're just gonna go G and let's just move it on the X, a G and X. And let's just move it Fields in the middle like so. Okay, so now we have a cylindrical text here. We can tab into edit mode and you can change the text at any point and go back out. You guys kind of get the idea. Okay, so now we have the text spun around like this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go shift A. We're gonna add in a empty. Let's add in a cube. And let's grab these items here. And then holding in shift, let's just select the empty and go control P and then go object and keep transform. Now we have a way of grabbing this empty and we can rotate it and everything kind of goes along. So let's do a quick little animation. Let's go over to our timeline. Let's just make it 100 frames. And on frame one, we're gonna grab this empty and go I, insert a rotation keyframe. And then we're gonna go to our, by pressing N, we're gonna go to our item. And under the transform here, let's go to frame 100. And on the X, let's make it 360 and then press I to insert a keyframe. Let's select both these keyframes and press T and let's make it linear. So now if we go to frame one, hit the space bar, we're gonna have this. Now obviously it's really slow because of all of the high um, density here. So let's just come to our remesh and for now let's just turn that off into display. 
In the render, it'll look perfectly normal, but this is kind of the speed we're having at the moment with the rotation. Okay, so now let's just go into our front view, shift A, let's add in a camera and move it back. And let's go in to our camera settings. Let's make it orthographic and then zoom over here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just rotate my camera off to the side like so. And now let's add in a plane. Move that plane down, S to scale it up. And then just extrude these two up like so. Give this a bevel. So just making a simple backdrop. So we have something like this. And now let's go to our render settings. Let's make it cycles. If you have a GPU, use it. If not, just stick to CPU and under the max samples, I'm gonna go 50. And I'm just gonna save this to my desktop. And now if we go Z and we go rendered, we can see this is what we have. So let's go to our world properties. Let's go to our color here. Let's give it a sky texture. And let's go shift A, let's add in an area light and move it up. Let's give that a strength of 200. Scale it along the X. And then all we have to do is grab our background over here. Let's just go and give that a shader, a principled, and let's just make it kind of, I don't know, let's give it a bit of a color. I'm gonna go something peachy like that. And then I'm gonna select the actual cylinder here and give that a material. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a shader like this, maybe a bit of a pink like so. This looks kind of like, really kind of like some sort of cool modern text advertisement you might see on the product. Um, maybe Nike or something. I really kind of like the way this looks. So now let's just go ahead and go render and render image. And here we have the final render. Um, I did the exact same thing over here in my previous scene. Over here, I just added some different materials essentially. Um, but all sorts of really cool and fun ways you can uh, mess around with this. Um, I'd just say, as always, experiment, try different things and see how much you like it. I'll see you guys next time for another Blender tutorial.